All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to continue with our top 32 remaining players right now. Heading up right now, we have Infiltration versus Daco from Panda. Is that right? I get that uh, right. Is it the, is that, is that the right? Zodiac is correct this year? Uh, <laughs> Last year it was a fish, out. <laughs> and it was a dragon. Said it's constantly on rotation. Yep. This that's year right. is Panda say. TV, uh, the Chinese equivalent of our awesome broadcast platform Twitch.tv. They send their boys over here. Nice. Uh, it's actually the the company's owned by the son of the most wealthy man in China. So imagine if Warren Buffet or <laughs> Bill Gates was like, you know what? I want to get a Twitch of my own. Yeah, that's how they. Right. Run it, and they sponsored all the top Chinese players. So I believe all three here, uh, Alhai, Danko, and Jawa. Well, Infiltration is going in straight to business right now. Again, one of the players here that is kind of heavily favored to go really far, as he's already proven. Uh, just whipping those jabs full screen, letting them know I'm, I see you. You're not <laughs> launching full screen against me. Interesting that uh, Daco is going with Harin. Um, mm -hmm. He had a very strong Ryu in four, and that character, notably in the upper echelons yeah. of the tiers in this game, and yet he is uh, going with Harin. So, Mago also known to pick the top tiers in the early stage of the game. So perhaps there is something. There's something uh, to be said about yeah, this character. About this character. But then again, in the American oh, side, you have uh, Justin, who traditionally does not pick top tier, also playing the same character. So. That just speaks to the balance of the game when there's a, a global disagreement about ooh, ooh, those footsies. About who's top and who's not. Yeah. Oh, what a wily yeah, that's... fellow is infiltration. Yeah, Daco? Okay, he's got some momentum now. Doesn't he? Mm. get the damage he should have gotten. So what was all this talk about the uh, Americans keeping the barbarians from the gatekeeping? <laughs> I see them here, the same faces. <laughs> we're in 1080p now. Last year we were playing 720p. Same dudes though. Infiltration getting out. Okay, nice up on it. And the overhead. So overhead Definitely. is becoming much more important uh, in this game because you cannot trip out uh, right. in Street Fighter V. So naturally yes. they will go for the 50-50 high or low. That's exactly what you got to be, be wary of at all times once your life bar is low. Yeah, but don't worry, we still got time. I mean, you know, we still got some players in here. Yeah. <laughs> you are contractually <laughs> banned. I think that's why all these barbarians, the Vikings, the Genghis Khan, <laughs> yeah, has stormed over the wall. The so keeper fell asleep on the dude. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead, what's up? No, uh, yeah, because Jon Snow is no longer there. Guarding it. All right, super. Wow. This is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, oh my oh. gosh! I didn't think it would kill. Okay. Ho 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 ho! You ordered some curly fries with that <laughs> hair, not the straight type from Alex. <laughs> All right. And uh, even Daco using his old Ken shirt. Wow, uh, that does not look licensed at all. But very good uh, fan art. Uh, I like how even though Pungo just got off the stage, he did he remain there? No, he kicked them off. Yeah. So Infiltration does not like to be coached, whereas Pungo loves for Infiltration to be in his corner. Yeah. Interesting dynamic. He likes I to like play that. solo. Yeah. But he yeah, understands his role. Yep. Infiltration will live or die by his own uh, decisions. The green sword yeah. razor. I like. Ah, oh, great hair there. Yeah, he's to get a little more creative. Uh, oh, okay. With the air to air. He's yeah, he's actually. Oh, oh wow! No, yeah, that, that ex boom actually brings you forward. Yeah. So the vertical neutral jump. Yeah, I don't. Great tool. Oh, oh my no. goodness! Everybody is still getting hit. What did you want to do with that? That's like a free. So in in ultra, yeah. Seth had to get a ultra to get that setup. Mm -hmm. Right after the uh, tendon. Oh, what? What? What is this? Pliss! Oh no. Pliss! Oh no. Please, this is three for th three today. Infiltration Opa Pliss. This so it looks like right now that Infiltration is having some difficulties. A wardrobe malfunction. And he, he so you can see Infiltration wiggling his stick. Yeah. Daco. Um, uh, so. Daco did win the first game. Infiltration did take the first round on the second game. What happens next? Do we fix the stick? 
How do we let know the who's, rock? We do know that it's well, infiltration stick. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. He is. Uh, yeah. It's, it's. Yeah. They're they're trying to figure out what to do. Trying to figure out the rules. He's thinking about if he's going to give uh, or if Daco is going to just get the round. Perhaps this has happened within the course of this tournament today. Mm -hmm. To other players, yes, um, yes, becoming it has. a epidemic. Yeah, it is. And Daco caught on camera a bit happy. Oh yeah, at no, the misfortunes he's, he of his is opponent. Cheesing real hard. Talking to Chris, who that man said, "Fly me to Capcom <laughs> Cup. I don't care. I will take a win off a technicality. <laughs> I will EMP disruptor everyone's yeah, USB I, cords. I have no pride. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my trophy? <laughs> That's funny because all the factories that manufacture these sticks are uh, in China. He's like, yep, I told him to drop that one off of the factory line a few times. You thought you were getting a brand new stick. Infiltration, <laughs> a gift from me to you. Right. Well uh, done. Yes, never well, trust. Yeah, well a, uh, done, Daco. Well in done. In the movie of Zootopia, <laughs> out right now, do not trust the panda. The panda will get you with... The malformed uh, USB sticks. Uh, but uh, yeah, very unfortunate. We, we've seen this happen on the biggest yeah. of stages, yeah. most notably with Momochi versus Gamer B. Right. Really stopped the momentum of the match. Here, you know, it's, it's also, yeah, it's like psychological warfare as well, yeah. right? Because now both players are they're immediately I'm thinking about you, the man. next. I'm telling you, is texting his boys in the factory. <laughs> I've been there. I did the quality <laughs> control. Sent that text, you guys are getting yeah. a raise. <laughs> 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 Well played, Daco. Make Very sure smooth. some of those iPhone sevens roll off early <laughs> on, on the conveyor belt. Beat up that that stick of infiltration. Uh, yeah, made mm. in China. That's the mm. devious side of it when they have full control over the product. So I wouldn't really blame infiltration. He was sabotaged by hmm. the pandas. Well, we're trying to see right now. I guess yeah. what is the, going to be the easiest fix solution. What would you do in this? Say you're uh, in infiltration shoes. Mm -hmm. um, what was what is going through your mind? Do you go for a stick change? So, you gotta yeah, that, well, that's the yeah. Immediately for me, I, I just don't like risking things. So if I can avoid okay. this from possibly happening, that's the first thing I would immediately do. Yeah. Um, next, you know, you got to think to yourself. You're like, all right, well, this guy's probably gonna get the round. <laughs> you know, and he's gonna feel really confident. I gotta take advantage of that. <laughs> Should change Make this sure, tournament yeah. from fine round to free round Ooh. at this rate. Please. Wow. Infiltration. <laughs> Infiltration. So please. altruistic in his gifting. You would almost uh, assume he had taken a playbook out of F Champ Ryan, known to give his opponents free rounds. But with so much money riding on the line, I doubt the Korean competitor is going to be that generous. So let's see what the solution is. He is texting his boys in the Guangzhou factory. I'm um, trying to get some guidance from Chris Hu there. Fascinating Hu. He's often a host for the Chinese players when they come over stateside. Has extensive ties to the mainland of China. So, let's see what's happening. And then All right. Okay. Sir, do we have a ruling yeah, on so what's happening? It looks like they're just going to replay the match because there's actually nothing wrong with his stick. Oh. Um, what, what do you suppose happened then? It's not a PS4 stick. <laughs> So the system detected it as going idle for a while, and that's why he got logged out. There's okay, only so one account logged in right now. So, I so because see. of that, yeah. So that's that's there's why you Scott, see that screen right now. Scott yeah, popular. Yeah, there's two Scots, but there's only one controller because his got logged out. Okay, so it's not his. Uh, correct no. me wrong. It's not his fault. Correct. I and see. And so even though he had that first round already won, correct. I guess they agreed just to play the entire second game over. Okay, who benefits from this ruling, uh, if anyone? Daco, because Daco does. he, you know, he was down around in the second game. I see. That's very noble of yeah. infiltration to yeah, allow that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think he's going to get that round or keep that round. I think they're just going to start it fresh. Hmm. I wonder what led. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Red Bulls. Okay, so it wasn't uh, not all the. So I guess the remedy to the solution is to sign in to two players at one time, right? Instead of having one profile. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so certain yes. mods uh, mm. require you to unplug and then replug in your controller in between rounds. Uh, we have extensive yeah. stick modern knowledge here from HQ. We just got that n news in. Uh, but very difficult if you are playing in the midst of a round and your adrenaline is high, who is going to remember to unplug the stick? Right. Especially exactly. when it's so far located to the other side. Um, but that, I guess that's what coaches are for. You could use Tungo as a stick caddy. <laughs> is that Pungo as a stick caddy right yeah, now? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Top player privileges often come with a stick caddy <laughs> to not only carry your stick and then wipe wipe it down, but to also mm -hmm. unplug and plug it in All right, so uh, yeah. to re reconnect it. Looks like they're testing them out once again. Yeah, infiltration. Uh, Signaling that his stick is, is perfectly mm -hmm. functioning. Nothing wrong with it there. Yep. He just wants to make sure that he doesn't run into the same thing again. Oh yeah, you also yeah you mentioned about what I would do in that situation. Yeah, I forgot do. to add that it's very different for infiltration situation because he plays on the you know the Korean bat top. Okay. So he can't just immediately swap out for something else, right? That's not what he's comfortable with. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I never thought about yeah, that. He's so. the one person perhaps in this room using yep. the uh, paywall. Yeah, so that's why he is like, nope, we're going to get this. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> I am not swapping. There's I'm nothing actually, wrong with this. Yeah, I've actually <laughs> been told that his stick it's on the exterior, yeah. only the faceplate yeah. is like, you know... Uh, stock. Okay, everything else it. from the buttons to everything the, the mm. stick to mm -hmm. the PCB, like everything is custom. Hmm. So a very extensive modder is infiltration. You know, one of the players uh, really from 4 that did not mind his, I wouldn't say lackluster performance because he still okay. did very well in Capcom Cup Finals. Right. But he knew that although he didn't get, you know, that top, top, top money, mm -hmm. he knew he was going to excel in five. Yes. Yes, he did. And that was like a real life option select uh, because he was playing the beta at that time while preparing for CPT 2015 mm -hmm. in Ultra. He just knew that this type of game was going to be his type of game where he was going to be back to stronger than ever, the upper tiers. Infiltration. Plus. So, uh, Daco, a failure to infiltrate the Chinese factory. <laughs> yeah, his, his pl plan was foiled. Yeah. Plans are definitely foiled. Um, Ultra top security in the uh, Razor factories. Okay. But I believe he is... Is he the only Razor player remaining in the top 32? I know that Sien and uh, Udo yeah, I did don't have the list in front of me of all of them. I'm trying to pull it up right now. Okay, they're going to re reenact that other round. I don't know how they remembered that. Oh, we have uh, I mean, we do here. have the yeah. system over here. Yeah, We're not in the Dark Ages. That's right. <laughs> slowly crawling towards. <laughs> The uh, uh, holy man. grail known as esports. <laughs> Instant replay tells us that mm -hmm. this is, a, you know, more or less the situation that the two players left off at mm -hmm. uh, after that yeah. unfortunate profile sign-in malfunction. So I do, yeah, I do like that they're going to kick it off from right where they left off. Yeah, infiltration will get that round back. Dako has agreed to let that rock because he understands what the situation was. Very honorable of him as well. All right, here we go now. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Opening Gambit. Yes. Going towards first. Ow. Everybody's on pins and needles trying to see how this is actually wow. going to play out. No landing frames on that. Did this delay break Dakel's concentration? Not throwing a boom. Wow, that yeah. combo on the overhead. Right. See, all the, all the, he's using the standing strong, which has a similar animation from that of the boom. Uh, trying Ooh, to bait yes. a jump in from Taco's cutting, but it just doesn't happen. What is he coming back with the guillotine? <laughs> <laughs> that is how you make those he's sub sandwiches. When you're slicing out the salami on that, that meat cutting machine, the grinder. 
So again, all these ma standing jabs, standing jabs, that's just like fake uh, Sonic Boom. But... Oh, wow. nice, very yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. That is Got the us. tech to blow up uh, the uh, counters. Sp and specifically good against Nash because, you know, um, if he gets away with that V reversal, he's gone. Oh, wait, what, what was that? Was that some trade technology? Oh, no. Is this some tech that we don't know? We I know that some uh, ultras yeah. linked in uh, in four on a counter yeah. hit. I wonder if that's true of the, uh, the CAs here in five. I don't. I don't think that's. He that's automatically what inputted wanted. that yeah. after the trade. Hmm. This is the okay. first Daco. game for player one. Calming himself Round down, one. reminding himself. <laughs> That he needs this win. Don't yes. get intimidated yes, by the long delay. All right, finally mm -hmm. some uh, boons coming here from. Yeah. Now he's uh... infiltration, just like uh, the boxer in this ring, always changing up the distance. Yeah. Back and forth, back and forth, and even that. See, he he dove, uh, dashed in forward. Knew that uh, his opponent had jumped neutral and just went for an after. So he'll never stay stationary, and the distance. Uh, the delta Ooh. of the distance between two characters are always changing between him and his opponent. Mm. Whereas you see a lot of other players um, perfectly happy to maintain delta distance. This is look at that. Like, like this is just a straight domination right now. Um, infiltration. Yeah. yeah, he got that breather. He's coming back super strong. I don't know if Rocco is gonna pick up the pace, but he needs to do something right now. Oh, Ooh, okay. I mean, this is his chance, right? Oh, uh, okay. He's yeah. okay. He's got the meter, and he had already broken up oh, the OS once. Wow! Goodness. He just took that teleport to the face. Mm -hmm. You know that Nash is going to teleport out. Yeah, he's trying to get out. He's going to do something. But because he has so many nice. options, which way he teleports, yeah. I don't think there's a universal. Look at how OS. smooth Nash is dashing. It's I'm all telling you, infiltration making a statement right now, just dashing and throwing. Oh my god. Look at that! Are you serious? <laughs> now, Kareen, for her haircut, she may have that this, banana weave. This is straight disrespect. But Infiltration <laughs> has that bobbin weave. <laughs> Look at that. In and out, in and out, in and out. Oh my god. <laughs> How can you hit this moving target? Perhaps the only one would be Conor McGregor. <laughs> but yeah, it's very difficult he's to catch gonna, he's this target. End. Oh, my, is he going like, to Oh no, he's, okay. he's chipping yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, it was the animation. Yeah. There. He got, I think, 70%, 75% damage that round just from throws. <laughs> just dashing in and out. I'm actually surprised his stick did not malfunction, <laughs> given how much movement he was <laughs> doing on it. <laughs> yeah. Double I mean, tapping that, that stick? Yeah. I mean, if there was an Triple odometer <laughs> on people's sticks, yes. uh, by far, Infiltration would have the most uh, hand calluses <laughs> on that forward board. If they, board, if they could somehow measure it, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, again... Tough, lo tough loss or defeat for Dachau right yeah, there. Yeah, he thought you know. he had it he, initially. He, he won the first game. He was down the next round, whatever. Needed to gather his thoughts. Boom. He's out of the race for a couple minutes. But the PlayStation 4 mm -hmm. Angels from above mm -hmm. sent him a uh, a good save. And, That's right. Um, yeah, once that round reset and there was time to really calm down mm -hmm. and reestablish his mental concentration. Yes. Right after that, I just saw that the movement had increased about tenfold. It was bobbing and weaving in and out. Exactly. <laughs> the undulating movement just putting his uh, opponent to sleep. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Yeah, some crazy, crazy stuff. Well, you know, in addition to this, we also got some more crazy events that are continuing. Right. Really? Next week. I'm already, like, peaked. <laughs> I know, I know. Were you... You We're better unpeak top yourself. 32. You gotta... Like that is the magic number when it all just goes downhill. It's gonna happen again uh, next week. NorCal Regionals, March 25th through 27th mm -hmm. in Sacramento. If you guys are in that area, get outside, head out, be part of the Capcom Pro Tour, witness some of the crazy matches in person. And the good thing about NCR and the final round back to back is that many of the top players oh, yeah. overseas will then stay in the U.S. Yep. Probably gain 20 or 25 pounds on That's that right. good southern <laughs> cooking. And then you won't even recognize them. You'd be like, yo, is that so keto? <laughs> <laughs> like, did Bone John put the, like, Or Sien? is he now? Yeah. Torgor. <laughs> what? Sien? Yeah, he's just huh? enjoying the good food here. So they will all be at the uh, NCR after right. the final round, the majority of yeah. them. So if you ever you see them... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, if you ever see them in their hometown, like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, be ready to host uh, the influx of aliens. Yeah. <laughs> from outer space with their new right. Street Fighter V technology.
Tokido versus Kenneth Pope. Kenneth Pope. Kenneth Pope. The player formerly known as Hugo 101. What happened there? Like, why did he uh, toss away his? I mean, gamer I, tag? I think this is the birth of a new player. Uh, we're gonna see some some new stuff. I mean, already he's not using Bison. Hugo 101 was a Bison player. Kenneth Pope plays Nikali, so this is uh, definitely a new breath of fresh air. That's the first time I've seen anyone discard mm -hmm. their gamer tag. That's right. Round one. Fight. He's back. Maybe he never left. Or maybe. Mm. I just want his opponent to know that he is the artist formerly known as Hugo That's right. And he is taking everything. Okay, no, he's starting to fight back now. Hugo bringing a bit of the pressure to Tokido. So, interestingly enough, uh, okay, Melantia there. Yeah. Tokido, very early adopter of Dowson. And he yeah. had uh, mentioned that he was very impressed with the American duo of Art and also f mm -hmm. Um But mysteriously, a couple weeks ago, his CFN gamer tag was only showing Ryu. And people <laughs> thought that there was a ghost account or something was wrong. But uh, indeed, Tokido had switched over yep. from his main to Ryu. He had been practicing, putting in that work. Ken? Oh, nice. Yeah. And, and there are about two really accurate barometers of what is top tier. Right. Forget all those Twitter tier lists. Mm -hmm. You just need to see who Tokido <laughs> and I would say Shaohai picks. <laughs> that is the greatest barometer of who is top tier. I would, I would throw Dachau in that mix okay. as well. Yeah. I would definitely throw him in that mix. Hey, when the, when the government officials are telling you that you got to bring home the gold <laughs> yeah. for those Street Fighter Olympics, you got to listen to them. By any means necessary. Yes. But Takedo also, you know, just throughout history of, of Street Fighter, mm -hmm. known to gravitate towards the uh, higher tiers. Yeah. Don't be fooled by those Twitter keyboard warriors mm -hmm. and the philosophers out there. Tokido, <laughs> yeah, that's nice about it. Not so you see most oh of the uh, yeah, Japanese players use medium kick, uh, Tatsu Ender, because it, Ryu yeah. gets infinitely stronger if he corners his opponent. Mm -hmm. And uh, Roundhouse Tatsu will make you switch sides. Right. Short, a little, uh, not too good for that. So the, the best corner carry is actually uh, medium Tatsu in the mid screen. So you're going to see them using that. Whereas you see uh, Shoryuken Ender is more damage in it. Oh, I think... I think Kenneth Pope might get hit by the special right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, he hit definitely. I thought he was that. just gonna try to chip him out. You win. Pretty convincing win there for Tokido. Uh, Ken definitely let him get away with a lot of jump ins. Didn't check his anti airs. Yeah. If you're uh, gonna be playing the Kali, yeah. you definitely have what a lot of characters do not have in this game, which is an invincible, you know, anti air. Mm -hmm. Should be using uh, more of that. He yep. doesn't need to burn any meter for that. Oh. So I believe Kami, Ryu, uh, Nikali. Mm -hmm. Gifted players. Privileged players. <laughs> nice uh, punish. Yeah, that sweep is minus yep. infinity. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh yeah, I missed it. So again, he, he uses the medium Tatsu for that corner carry. Mm -hmm. But uh, that standing light just didn't miss. Uh, hit. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, I like it. That dash is so good. Hi, right, on the throw, see what he's got. Oh, ah, too far away from the, for the command the grab. And definitely would have worked too. Tokido was not going to push a button yeah, on the breakup. He there. was, you know, most likely fearful of that crush counter. Ooh. Oh, God. That thing functions yep. as an anti air. Yes. His best crush counter. Uh, good combo recipe. Standing ground is just a, a big problem. Just, Great arsenal. Just by throwing it out at the start of the round, you already yep. took 50% off. Yeah. Okay, clean jump in. Yep. Oh no, let's him get out. Nope. Yeah, so in this game, um, yes. Escape Tatsu, which was taken out from Ultra, is actually back in, in, in a yeah. way, uh, yeah. in five. I mean, Granny, you don't fly across to the other side. <laughs> Vanilla Ryu, I still remember. The Ume Copter <laughs> has flown just, away. Just <laughs> oh man, great that's another bad jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah great anti-air though from Tokido. Ooh, he's trying to dash up and get that low medium kick. Will he get it? Will he get it? When Tokido was playing uh, Akuma in the very beginning, he relied a lot on the Vortex <laughs> and the set play because he did not have a consistent anti-air. Mm -hmm. If you rated all his parameters, yes. the set play obviously 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. um, Combo execution was up there, but anti-air was really lacking. And then he 
somehow made the transition, I would say, around super, and then really focused on the anti-air. Mm. And that's one thing I have seen Pungo not do. Still, his his weaknesses has carried over from four. Everyone knows mm. that he does he has problems anti-airing. So you really have to work on your game. We've been playing this for like six years now. Yeah. Really no excuse. Everyone knows, just like an NBA player, you know, sometimes you're good at driving, but you don't have a good jump shot. Of course. LeBron James in his in his first year, uh, terrible at his jump shot, but he, he he worked on that. So you can really see which players have worked in the off season to buttress <laughs> their weaknesses. Some people just want to like eat donuts all day. <laughs> Some players just hit the gym, you know, the training room mm -hmm. in the summer, um, and it really pays off dividends because you know as the money in the CPT grows, this is absolutely like substantial stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, you can just see. Uh, I, since you bring that up, I think one of the players that that really speaks to is K yeah. Brad. Okay, you would you call him the MIP, the most well, improved yeah, player? Yeah, since he's playing, you know, right now, and if you saw him <clears throat> in the early days when Five came out, yeah, everybody knew he was ass. Like that was okay. that's true. He knew it himself, though. Like he was, uh, he he called himself out on it, and he said, "Wait a minute, everybody else is trying to get serious with this. You know, I'm out here having fun there in the gym shooting, <laughs> right?" So he <laughs> said, "All right, let me get back in shape." So. Uh, he definitely stepped up, and I'm, you know, happy to see that he's made the progress that he has in this tournament. Okay. And he will be playing right now versus. His opponent is a no show. Never mind. I thought he How was would playing. You compare? I, thought he, I actually thought he was playing Justin Walk. <laughs> uh huh. We have another match going on. Gotcha. Okay, we're gonna do a little. Time warp. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so that's what Ooh. we're getting up right now. Dachau versus Snake Eyes. One of yes. the improvements that we're bringing you this mm -hmm. year is just showing you a lot of the offline uh, action right. that would have been missed in years prior. But that's right. with this newfangled technology, I'm told we are able to show you some. That's right. Yeah. Action. Yeah. So good job. Good job, guys. You guys are awesome. Production values. The stream uh, team over there. The more copies of the game you buy, <laughs> let me put it very simple, Econ 101. The more copies of the game you buy, the more DLC and Alex's <laughs> and Capcom Pro Tour shirts buy, the more we bring you. I don't know why that, that's lost on a lot of people. I don't want to sell out. No, we're giving you like free entertainment and that entertainment gets better. We're making your Sunday, this is, you know, enjoyable. Here okay, we go. So this is Daco, who you just saw, yeah. versus Snake. <laughs> oh man. Now Snake had been invincible oh. in weeks prior to meeting up his winning That's every right. Wednesday night fight to the point where he didn't even need to compete in it anymore. Yes, and he vanished from the last one. That's right. I mean, he uh, even took a drive, a five hour drive down to Arizona. He took first <laughs> place out there, too. Um, you know, here he is. He lost early on in the tournament. Most likely, I mean, he probably wasn't ready to deal with as many killers as early on as we were expecting. No. And it's very unfamiliar territory. Yeah. Not only is he here on the East Coast, he finds himself in Losers. Yeah. Um, which is a different piece altogether. I'm gonna take the life lead here with the EX. Ooh, wow, that was a big cross up. Mm -hmm. Didn't go for the splash. Oh, oh. this could hurt. Yep. Mm. Yeah, when he, when he whipped, uh, jumped over and did the knee, he should have just landed jab SPD and it would have grabbed. Okay. Because he was expecting to block that, but caught him by surprise. Yeah, that, that, that. Oh, okay, what does she got? Okay, that, that was frame. Um, Ooh, flex. Nice. There's nothing better than watching B flex yep. on his opponents. Little flex. Okay, this is not looking good for Snake Eyes right now. He is kind of in a... Who is... <laughs> what be going on, though? <laughs> Doc, how's at it again? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, all right. So, one time, he did I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Two times... And you definitely... Uh oh it's Daco. <laughs> now, I've heard of the Brooks Converter, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that this man is using the Crooks <laughs> Converter. <laughs> he is just using some dirty tactics here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Hmm. 
We're going to let the uh, Capcom sort that out. Mm. And they're going to be, you know, brushing yeah. uh, the joystick for the fingerprints and That's seeing right. yeah. who See, is the perpetrator. Who is responsible for this. Yeah, definitely a domestic issue there in Daco versus yeah. Snake Eyes. Okay. All right, cool. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to switch back over here to the main stage. And it looks like we have K-Brad getting ready to square off against Haitani. Have you guys played in, uh, in Ultra? I don't know. Like, it's actually, yeah, good this question. This is like crazy versus crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, K-Brad was talking a little bit about this match beforehand. Mm -hmm. well, Haitani, so... So... Yeah, uh, Thank you. Engrossed in the game that when he was invited to play Vampire Savior, mm -hmm. he's like one of the top players, plays a Sasquatch. He said, No, I want to concentrate on Street Fighter V. Oh, uh, that's what I like to hear, actually. Yeah. I do. Okay, Same so. thing uh, with Tokido. Mm -hmm. he, he knew that, you know, some other games are out here, and he's very yeah. good at them, but he said, No, nah, this weekend I'm going to devote myself entirely mm -hmm. to Street Fighter V. See if that pays off for him as he's getting corner pressure Ooh. against K Bry. Look at oh that. My goodness, look at that great life. Just medium kicking. All that damage just adding up. Oh, okay. This this is this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about beforehand. And another thing is, you know, he had mentioned too that yep. one of the matchups that he hated, <laughs> hated upon playing this game was Nikali. And he said like before this tournament he spent nothing but playing a bunch of uh, various Nikalis just mm. to, try to, to try to get an understanding on how to approach the matchup. But he's still scared of when Nikali lands a hit. <laughs> oh, like that. That damage. Nikali, in the beginning of the game, called a very Japanese character in the sense that it, he has a three frame jab mm -hmm. and an invincible uppercut and a command hmm. grab. So er everyone thought that uh, Kazunoko would be perfect for him because it's just right. a, a basic iteration yep. of Yun. Of what he's been doing. Mm -hmm. He said he had switched, but mm -hmm. still the principles apply. The, the form. The Asian players definitely love their three-frame body drive. Okay, Ooh. but safe. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm. He had, okay, oh, but no okay, punch. yeah. Wow. Just abusing the spiral He's, arrow. Yep. Okay. Air reset. Oh, nice sneaky overhead there from Haitani. I think that overhead is minus, but it pushes the oh, opponent wow. out with the push block so far yeah. that Fine. no move that I know can punish it. If, if you know of one, yeah. uh, Twitter, please let us know. <laughs> Okay, hard Twitter. knockdown. Twitter, please. Oh, misses the combo after. Yeah, that thing right there. Mm -hmm. can, not much damage, but you can do it with it, within, yeah, without impunity. And K Red right now is sitting on a lot of resources. Ah, I love yeah. the air there. Yep. Oh, oh, he's close to critical art. That next low medium kick is going to be the death of K Red. Oh, I can see. Yeah, he just doesn't want to avoid it, despite having that mm -hmm. uppercut. All right, we're gonna go air. Oh, okay. nice! Good hit confirmed there. Oh, he's close Is to stun. He's gonna have to panic. Wow, good lock. Wow, good locks. Oh, nice! Empty, empty jump. Low. That is the only. While we come in the FTC of many different colors, shapes, <laughs> genders, uh, hobbies, likes, mm -hmm. dislikes, one common thing is empty jump empty low. Empty jump low. Everyone's <laughs> been hit by it. That's the same thing everybody's shared. <laughs> Stories of doing mm. empty jump low, eating empty jump low. That's right. That's the only thing we've mm -hmm. got in common here. Very diverse crowd here. So okay, Brad, taking that first game. Oh, oh okay, here's no. the full punish that he did not get. That's the first spiral mm -hmm. that really went into this body and didn't cross over. Yeah. Oh! Okay. okay, went for the sweep. Yep. That caveman yeah. foot, just a great <laughs> barrier against... Mm -hmm. Okay, mm, now they're flailing. Yes, nice! There it is. I think you see that uh, the difference between K-Bread and Fungo mm -hmm. is... Okay. Not yet wow. to kill, though. Big damage. Fungo a little better with his optimization of the damage. Oh, yep, there it goes. Wow, yeah, yeah. You, you freeze the frame, mm -hmm. you catch him in the air so that... Uh, if you weren't fast, normal... Ooh! Oh, wow! Wow, that didn't, didn't do enough damage! Oh, Sizemore misses? Yep. Yeah, oh, air to air. No, yeah, was, he had come in yeah. so many times from the air. Yep. Yeah, well played. Good good anticipation there from Haitani. Sort of forces, um, Haitani forcing mm -hmm. K-Brad to come in from the air because he had been sticking out that standing heavy kick. Yes. Will K-Brad be able to make Haitani pay for all these uppercuts that he's throwing? Mm-hmm. 
Nice, got an uppercut of his own. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, so yeah, he is. And so Pungo would have walked forward and, and done a standing heavy punch, but k -Rod just wanting the simpler combo. Yep. Almost out of V-Trigger there. Hi, Tanya. Oh! Mm. He's gonna say he had no problem waiting for it to run out. Oh, tried. Tried, yeah. So the answer to the... Shimmy is... For characters blessed with it, Ooh. the low light punch mm -hmm. jab into the jab, uh, throw OS no. before they patch that out. Mm -hmm. That is the best answer to the shimmy right now. Okay, so you see Hai yeah. Hani with his coach Mago in the corner, and K Brad, he has uh, J Wong in his side. And that's really been the story, that standing yeah. heavy kick. Okay, oh, big punish! Big punish! Oh! <laughs> No DP to check that jump. Okay. Yeah, yeah see, uh, man, you know, Haitani is doing a great job to protecting himself this time around and not letting K-Brad just immediately bully him all the way into yeah. the corner and start eating away at that gray life with those medium punches and medium kicks. Uh, I'm not sure if you just caught that, but Nikali did a jump back light kick in yes. there. That yes. is the jump OS. Yes. So that's not a, a, it looks like a input error, but what that does is protects you from all the throws and there's a throw break embedded in there. Mm -hmm. And because you're jumping away, largely your opponent can't catch you. Yeah, so it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you block the first few frames on your wake up and then you hold up back guard and with yeah, throw. Yeah, with throw. And it covers a multitude of options, way better than backdash because there's no invulnerability frames in this. But you're going to see a lot of top players using that yeah. until it's patched out. However, I hear that the uh, patch doesn't quite address that completely. Hmm. Though it is uh, designed with the aim to mitigate the strength of the uh, jump. Wow, nice anti yeah, uh, anti it, it doesn't completely solve that problem. So we're going to still be seeing this. It's going to be a dominant strategy in the game. Something that we had not seen in uh, Street Fighter 4. Nice, it confirms. Uh, oh, he did could have gone into critical art, but I guess opting to save it. <laughs> the Aitani is just so good at controlling that space. Not letting Kami get in. Oh, yeah. wow, was that perfectly there it timed? Is. Yes. Think about the, the recovery on that fire arrow. Berserker Barrage, gonna have a mm -hmm. seemingly life lead. Oh, okay. Yes. What oh. was that? Wait a minute. Wait. Still not enough to. Oh, could have thrown that. Oh, my he goodness, hit. he did it anyway. Five of five oh, uppercuts? Wow. Oh man. K Brad just has yes. to be disgusted. Yeah. He's definitely gotta be heartbroken about that. He definitely I mean, gotta be a little yeah, heartbroken. He had established that pattern, mm -hmm. uh, despite not being one of the guys air to air. Yep. Immediately he always most part uppercut it after blocking mm -hmm. that aerial drill, but K Brad not able to adapt. Mm. Okay, so Basically got some updates. So okay. Yeah, so Snake Eyes, uh, eventually, he had to give up that round. <gasps> and oh no. it became, yeah, one to one. And how did it conclude? Oh, we're going to find out right now. We're, gonna, yep, yeah, we're yeah, learning okay, just cool. as you are, ladies and gentlemen, right. on the stream. Yep. Here we go. This is All the right. conclusion of the Taco versus Snake Eyes. <gasps> <laughs> Jeez, what is he muttering before he puts him into that? <laughs> into the ground. Nice. Okay. I'm looking at. Daco's meter does not yeah, have didn't critical have Oh, wait. No. Gonna build it soon, though. <gasps> okay, so Snake Eyes takes out Daco. Hmm. Yeah. Very good. Despite losing yeah. that round, able to yeah. come back. So, yeah, good no. triumphs over evil. We're happy to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> wait. Yeah, we don't. Oh, so now uh, I guess Snake Eyes is going to continue and play Punko off stream as well right now. Okay, a lot of killers uh, facing in both mm -hmm. winners and losers bracket here. Yeah, but I mean also just to kind of recap. Mm. Haitani. Is he looking, looking incredibly... Is he the candidate? <laughs> is he the candidate? <laughs> Get his plane ticket ready now?
So while you know where I thought I, yeah. I would see the day where mm -hmm. Hi Connie and both PR Rock play the same character. It was right. Boxer, <laughs> the most patient of them all. Yes. Down back character mm -hmm. all the time, charge mm -hmm. based. Versus Hi Tani's Makoto yeah. in four. Yes. And now for some reason their face have coincided mm -hmm. with Nikali? Nikali. How does that make sense here? Uh, you did high damage, uh, command grabs. I think that works. <laughs> yeah. Anti airs, they want that. I know Hayatani would be very grateful if Makoto had that kind of uh, that that quick speed and strength mm -hmm. without needing to dash. Oh, but he's still doing the same thing. He is like Makoto. Yeah, dashing, high damage, command dash, grabs. Yeah, four dash is a tactic we didn't really see. Back dash, it's almost like it switched completely yeah. from four to five. Back dash was incredibly strong. Mm -hmm. Airborne frames, invulnerability yep. frames. Yep. Here in five, that's largely we never see that. Mm -hmm. Except in, in highly situational cases, four dash, yeah. incredibly strong in sneaky attacking and that threat of the uh, throw. Well, here's a match: infiltration versus PR Rog. Okay, that's a good yeah. trade for Rog on the size one. You can always take that against the boom. Yep. Damage wise, we've seen these two play a ton <laughs> in the previous years. Yes, sir. Nice. What? Yeah, okay. good V reversal. You like that? Yes. All right. Oh, yeah, he tried to anti air, but that. Ooh! Hard knockdown, dash, 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 Ooh, dash, dash. Look at those dashes. Yeah. Ooh, pack dash immediately on V trigger. Yeah, he's kept the infiltration in the cage, and not many people have been able to do that. He has abused the teleport. Ooh, reversals. Nice, clean round there from Eduardo. How is this man able to get married, buy a house, <laughs> and beat, like, Asian players? That's not fair. <laughs> One of a kind. Man. That is One not of a fair kind. in life. You have to have some sort of weakness, but uh, Eduardo is showing none of it in this tournament. Yeah, infiltration. Sticking with the plan of just going to out-zone uh, Eduardo here. Uh, uh, okay, oh, does no. that work? Does that, that far? work? Wow. That was a great distance. Good stuff from Ed. The screen freeze of yes. the critical art, just so good and uh, gives you the decision, another few frames to decide, should I commit nice. to it? Yeah. Infiltration, V-trigger on the same side. Put him on critical the art. Oh, the yes. woodwork. Exactly. Good stuff from him. Final round. Fight. Okay, final round here in the opening hmm. match. Oh, missed it on no side, no punish. This is really when Eduardo should be jumping in on him as yeah. infiltration with a lack uh, of a good anti here. Ooh. Okay, now it's infiltration. It's time to go to work. Oh, Eduardo up, fights his way out of the corner. Because uh, reversals have such a high risk in yes. this game, in, uh, like shorikens and such, you're going to see wake up jab. Wake up whatever your fastest move is. Yes. And a much more dominant strategy. Exactly. Five, so. You want to stop the pressure. A lot of these games will be... Okay, wow, I love... Uh -oh. oh, he's leveraging his seismo damage, his output. Okay, there's plus frames on that EX. Mm -hmm. Good recognition from Eduardo. Nice pack dash right through that. Both these players with a lot of great lateral movement! Ooh. Wow! Did he press the wrong seismo strength? Oh, oh wow, this is gonna be big damage. <laughs> Got the juggle. Nice. Oh, wiliness. Nice. Smart of Eduardo, if you notice, as soon as he, he realized, wait, he V-triggered. I don't know where he is. Let me just hold up. <laughs> and he tried ah, to right, jump right, right. away. Yes, and he took a hit. That's fine. It's better than taking a full combo. Smart stuff by Ed right there. A lot of damage mitigation. Same thing for uh, Laura when she puts her electric out. Sometimes it's just yes. better to jump up and get hit mm -hmm. by it and not deal with the 50-50. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the size was so good in the early game. And Ed abusing his three frame normals. Oh, yeah, that's a good tr oh, oh, okay. Big crush counter. Yeah, puts him on the floor. Oh, what, again? again? The corner carry. Alright. Yeah, I love. Man, Nash's dash is something else. It is so serious. Mm. Why don't we just call him Dash? Yeah. <laughs> <from now on. laughs> oh, oh, nice! To the other nice side. counter. A, yeah, a little too much uh, mm -hmm. seismo pressure. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, no buddy. <laughs> Trying to get that Ooh, kick. Oh, coming in strong. Yep, he's throwing out those those quick. Uh, no, no. That's so crazy hoping that he that uses he that anti air. Yeah, yeah, he was open, throwing all those jabs, hoping that uh, that Eduardo would eventually just rush right into it. Right into it. Mm. 
a lot of the tactics that would work against other opponents because uh, Ed's reactions are so fast mm -hmm. just won't work um, right. for infiltration here. So he, he's his gameplay is predicated on dashing in and surprising you, but Ed, one of those few players that able Ooh. to spot that and then deal with it right away. Okay, why does he go for this Big combo? And then let's see what the reason is. Yeah. <gasps> well, oh, oh, he's gonna hit him. Nice. Wow. Nice use of V trigger right there. Screen freeze. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Swing a lot of long normals yeah. out there to stop the forward dash. Oh, nice. The over dash under. under. After the air to air. Okay. okay. Ooh. <laughs> nope. Shuts him down before he could really get that momentum going in that round. Nash wins. So let's see what kind of adaptations Eduardo needs to make. Infiltration's looking round really one. solid that round. Mm -hmm. so been a lot of time moving around. Throwing very, those Sonic yeah, moves out. Fast yeah. adaptation mm -hmm. infiltration, as you saw the last round uh, against Nako. Yeah. So, despite him getting winning, he's probably going to be even, even better in this round. Right. Can Ed keep up with there? Yeah. That was one of the key tenets uh, that Daigo said on his stream the other day. Adaptation mm -hmm. is one of the main pillars of being a good Street Fighter player. Infiltration just moving all around. Yeah. He does no. He has no problem backdashing himself into a corner because he can just escape like that. Yeah, actually, he's been luring his opponent into the corner and then just te teleporting out. Yep. So. Whoa. Okay. Well, how do we get out here? But he doesn't have any nice. meter. So has to take this corner pressure finally. Mm. Slipping out of there. Woo! I wonder why he's going for that combo ender. To save his meter. Yeah, stealing that meter. Oh! Yeah, Jab Jab's gonna. Nice, yep. Demonstration has not once has gone for uh, EX legs as an anti air. Because he was saving it for this. Yeah. Yep. Gonna give Nikali the well deserved haircut. And that's when the barber <laughs> screws up your fade <laughs> and like chops your head off. Round two. Fight. In the lumbotomy. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, oh, misses the juggle. Nice. Oh, wow, he's using that knee bazooka to forward advance, but also causes his opponent to jump right over him, and he's out. None about. Oh, nice. Dash him in, trying to scoot him all the way to the corner. Eduardo is sitting on that full critical art. Mm. Okay, not getting any past him yep. on the air. Oh, oh he what? Did. He kept to do on grabbing. Yeah. Nice. Oh no. Oh yeah, he's gonna oh. punish him. When you're launching the air like that, yeah. size ball on the way down. Yeah. This Infiltration is close. <gasps> uh, critical art as well. Oh, oh wow. What was that? Ed was scrapping right there at the corner. <laughs> Got into a scuffle and wow. came out victorious. Same way that he had dispatched Pumbo, causes his opponent to panic in the corner and up yes. back and then just uppercut him. And we approach the final round here. This is the linker. Nice. This is a. Uh, oh, there it is. He wants to burn it early. Oh, uh, meatiness. Yeah. yeah. Most nauseous. What will he get anything? Yep. Very that good. Rain yeah. freeze is so strong. That's why you see pretty much Haitani, you know, taking advantage of it almost every round. Yeah. They're just not there. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that could be it. Doesn't finish it. Could have used the EX instead. Will that oh be? Oh my gosh. Oh. And he dashes right into it. Played right into Infiltration's hands as we've seen him, you know, back dashing throughout the entire fight, trying to control those sonic booms, hoping that Nikali would rush right into it. Well done, Infiltration. If the CPT is any indication of yeah. how it's uh, changed lives of players, both of those players that we just saw, Infiltration and Eduardo, have homes. Yes. Without their moms on the second floor. Yes, yes, this is true. So, uh, really. Um, <laughs> Shout out to CPT. <laughs> this is right. crawling towards those esports. Yes. We're going uh, to take a quick break, real quick. Okay. Uh, you guys don't go anywhere, though. We'll be right back. We got a lot more matches coming right up.